Question of the day, 25. An electrician earns a total annual compensation of $120,000. He directs the activities of a machinist and provides a report on his performance at the close of business. Which of the following is true, regarding the electrician's exempt status? A. He is exempt, based on the highly compensated employee exemption status. B. He is not exempt. C. He is exempt, based on his supervisory responsibilities. D. He is not exempt, because he does not have the 20% equity stake required. The answer is B. The electrician is not exempt because he performs manual work. Note that the FLSA regulations contain a special rule for highly compensated workers who are paid a total annual compensation of $107,432 or more. A highly compensated employee is deemed exempt if the employee earns total annual compensation of $107,432 or more, which includes at least $684 per week, paid on a salary basis. The employee's primary duty includes performing office or non-manual work, and the employee customarily performs at least one of the exempt duties of an exempt executive, administrative, or professional employee. Become a Human Resource Prep Member Membership Perks Unlimited PHR, SPHR, SHRMCP, SHRMSCP Questions, Answers, and Explanations 